Hi guys, thanks for coming back, watching some more videos from me. This is Rick Perry for Pro Audio Development. Uh, it's day after Christmas, the kids are all playing with the toys and all, so I decided I'd come in here and do a little work. Try to get caught up, there's my coffee, and uh, working with Studio One. And this is a live show that I did, it's uh, 16 channels. And so... <clears throat> I just wanted to shoot them, uh, if you look up in the top here, we have Dropbox, and I like to shoot them just kind of a basic mix down of their sets just so they can listen to it. And if you notice here that I've got these markers in between the songs, and that helps out pretty good to do some exporting for songs. So what I'm going to do here is I'll show you like, <clears throat> there's song 34, and then there's uh Song 35, so you can say you want to export export from song 34 to 35. So, what I want to show you is a lot of times you do the export and it's going to be a .wav file. And if you want to export an MP3, this is a little trick to do it. So you're going to go up here <coughs> and uh, you're going to export mix down. <coughs> so down here you're going to go in here and drop this down and choose your markers so there's from song 34 to 35 you'll click that and you hit OK now I'm not going to do it because I've already got it on the hard drive but when you click that just make sure that you have the file name and, the, and where you want it to be saved once you get that done you notice when you drop this down that you do not have mp3 available so to get the mp3 you have to have the pro version of this software so I don't have the pro version so <clears throat> the trick for it is to download Audacity. Let's get out of Studio One. <clears throat> Don't want to say that. So we have Audacity, free download. And with when you download Audacity, you need to go get the MP3 plugin. And uh, I did a force quit. So now we have Audacity loaded. So you can get used to using the the uh, shortcut keyboard shortcuts. There's the open command, and then we're going to do the. Let me look here. <coughs> the uh, where's it at? Export, which is Shift Apple E. There's import. Play, tracks. Alright, first let's just go on ahead and I know that uh, <clears throat> Command O is going to open. So from here I've already started my list <clears throat> and these are my songs. I haven't named anything yet because I'm just shooting them just a quick mix down. So 31 is uh, my next one so I want to select 31, hit open. Alright, so now if you need to do any editing, you can do it now. So, <clears throat> there's the export that I kept looking for. I just wasn't looking in the right place. That's Shift, Apple E. So, what I would do here, <clears throat> there's your uh, Apple, Shift, and E. Press that now. So, this is going to ask you where to. Uh, put it. I've actually dropping it in my Dropbox folder. So as soon as I save this, the Dropbox will start activating. So it's already song 31. That's where you change your file name. Let's go ahead and hit save. Then you get the metadata editor up here, and this is where you can enter in the different things that you want to put in the name, title, track, and uh, you can add values here. You can save them for a template for later. Right now I'm just shooting them just an mp3 so they can say hey we want these songs on our demo or whatever. So I'm not entering in anything here. So I'm just going to hit OK. And now it's actually going to send the mp3 to my folder. So this is the workaround for not having the mp3 export feature. Okay and that's didn't take very long. Now if you look up here, you can see Dropbox is, is 
already syncing. So now, if you have a lot of files to do, the trick that I like to do, come over here to the Command A. Everything turns blue. Hit Delete. Then do Command O to open. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to do Psalm 32. Open. Then you do Command Shift E for export. And basically I'm just going to hit enter twice. There were actually 35 files I needed to convert. So for not actually having a pro version of the software, this is probably the best option right now. Okay, and that finishes, and Dropbox is updating. So now I'll shoot the guys a link to the shared folder on Dropbox, and they can pull their music off of Dropbox and listen to it, and tell me, hey, I want song 4, 7, uh, 12, and 20. And then I'll go back into Studio One, and I'll do complete mix downs, full EQs, and everything of the songs that they want. So anyway, I thought you'd enjoy the... Uh, quick tutorial on using Audacity with Studio One. So this is the way to get your songs onto MP3. Thanks for watching.